<clears throat> Jai Sri Krishna and today we will do the Ashtavakra Gita. It is Sunday. So let me continue reading and those who have been following with me, it is, uh, well, <laughs> the philosophy is not easy to understand but I think what it's trying to say, I think it will sink in, every time it will sink in a little deeper and deeper. Uh, the Ashtavakra Gita, the commentary is by Swami Chinmayananji. And I read, we are doing the verse 23 uh, on page 71. And the verse says, O marvelous, in the limitless ocean of me, when, winters, when mental storms rise, diverse waves of worlds are instantly produced. So, here is the commentary. Here we have an enthralling set of three extremely lyrical verses with which the chapter ends. Ashtavakra dandles his favorite metaphor of the ocean in these three verses. Waves rise in the ocean due to the wild winds in the atmosphere and those waves calm themselves down to become the ocean when the whistling winds become quiet, become quiet and peaceful. Whenever the mind is quiet as in deep sleep, there are no perceptions. The moment we wake up, the mind gets active and with the agitations of the mind, the pluralistic world rises up into our awareness. In the limitless ocean of pure consciousness, which is my real nature, confesses Janak because Janak is speaking, when mental storms stir up tumultuous agitations, mountainous waves are created and they represent the endless variety of experiences. In short, when the mind is calm, the world of plurality rolls away. In reality, there is nothing but the self, the world of things and beings in an illusory superimposition maintained by our mind in agitation. So if you, um, as I said earlier, if you read it over and over again, or rather, if you keep continuing the scripture, because as he says, there are going to be three verses before the end of this chapter. So keep reading, keep listening, and somewhere, sometime, something will link in. I'm going to tell you something that I have heard from masters. They say that the scriptures are not going to take you across the ocean of samsara. But without the scriptures also, you will not get there. That is, get enlightened. The way I have always seen it, maybe I have heard it somewhere, is that it is like a jump. Uh, I think it's called a pole vault. Now, when the man comes running, he holds the pole, he jumps over a rope, which is placed high, but at the time of jumping, he lets go of the pole, he has to. So in my mind also, it's something like that. We need the scriptures to take us up to a point and then just like that high jumper, let's go off the vault in order to jump across. Maybe that is what we need to do. Eventually give up the scriptures and then just experience that beautiful giant leap. So until next time, you take care and God bless.